Welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm Kieran with the Glam P27 and I just wanted to welcome anyone who is new and watching my videos for the first time. Um, today I kind of wanted to go through my collection of um, smaller Vera Bradley items like wallets, cell phone crossbodies, zip IDs, gen zip IDs, other wallets and smaller accessories. And I keep everything um, on this organizer here on my door. And it just goes the full length of the door. Um, I like the clearness, um, the visibility of this organizer. It was actually from the container store. And I, it was for shoes actually. It was kind of like a hanging shoe rack in a way. But I, when I saw this, I was like, um, this would be perfect for me to be able to see all of my wallets and things um, and be able to pick um, what I wanted to carry for the certain day and I'm just going to show you it goes all the way down and that's Lychee's cage on the side there um, for when she goes to sleep. Um, sorry for the mess in my closet. Um, eventually I will do like a little closet tour of like how I store my bags um, and things like that. Um, but for right now, I'm in the middle of doing a closet reorganization and cleanup. And um, so that's why it's a little messy, but no worries. Um, I live in it, so <laughs> it's okay. Um, so I thought I would bring you this video today because um, I found it to be like a fun idea. I love watching collection videos. They're one of my favorites to watch. Um, and I wanted to go ahead and show you what I've got. So I'm going to go ahead and start at the top in this first row here and it look it's a little messy but um on that you know where my cat's meow stuff is but um i just wanted to show you the first section we'll go through everything and then i'll move down so the first thing i have is my cat's meow zip id um, with lanyard and that's what it looks like and here is the back and I found this, I think, on eBay or something like that. There was, um, or Mercari, I can't remember, but I bought this um, a while ago. And I haven't used the lanyard yet, but I have used the Zip ID. And then I have my Best in Show Zip ID. And the Zip ID is just open at the top. And you get a little bit of organization there for, like, your cards and stuff. And this also came with the matching lanyard. I think I bought this from the paper store when they were having a sale and they had these items available. Um, the best in show zip ID and lanyard. So I didn't have to buy this from like a third party. Then I have my passport cases and I have one in best in show and it just opens up like this for your wallet. You can use this as like, you know, a card holder and then you can stick your wall, uh, your passport in here. So I think I also found this on the paper store. And then there's that. And then I have my cat's meow. It's still packaged. I'm waiting until um, I actually need to use my passport before I go ahead and use this. So it's still packed and nice and I just want to keep it that way until it's time to actually like use it. So cute, I love this. I keep those up front at the top there. And then here we have Enchanted Garden and um, this is Charmant Meadow and Enchanted Garden. These are two of my favorite patterns um, from the outlet, the factory outlet. Charmant Meadow is, I think, a little bit more preferred for me than um, Enchanted Garden, but I love them both. And these are just turn lock wallets. And if we open them, this is what it looks like. You've got your card slots here, ID slots here, or you can use these for pictures. Um, and you've got more organization. If you open it up, you get all of this organization on the inside. Um, the turn lock wallets I use occasionally. Um, and there's a receipt in there, but I do use them when I'm using larger bags because they come in handy and they also take up a little bit of space. 
Um, so I do like the Turnlock wallet, and this is in Signature Cotton. And the Charmant Meadow, I'll just show you the interior color. It's this, like, nice gray. It's a light gray, which I appreciate. Um, and I'll be pulling this out, I think, in spring once I... I have got a Enchanted... Or, I'm sorry, a Charmant Meadow Large Glenna, which I really love. And so um, I'll be pairing that with that. So those are the two Turnlock wallets I have here. And then moving on to this pocket, I have my Merry Mischief, my um, Fruit Grove, and my Whimsical Mickey's Whimsical Paisley Carson cell phone crossbodies. And I like using these for phones. Um, I have this in a matching tote. Um, so whenever I'm pulling out that set to use, I'm going to be using this for my cell phone. But I love the Mickey that's at the front. And then on the back, you've got Mickey with his balloons, which I just love that pattern placement. Um, I think it's really, really cute. And then I just love Fruit Grove. I used this a lot last year when I first got it. And then Merry Mischief's got some good placement of the deer and the little um, wolves. And this is the back. Love that deer. Um, so I just keep my Carson cell phone. Now, I don't have all of them, uh, all of the Carson cell phone crossbodies in here. I've got some that, um, below, but we'll go through, we'll go through them when we get to them. And they fit perfectly. I can get three to a section. And then we've got my Best in Show Turnlock Wallet, which I love. And it's still brand new. I haven't used this. And that's the problem with like when you have like end up having too much stuff. Um, it's hard to get through everything or to find time to use it. Or at least that's my experience. Um, I work better if I have less things. Um, but I, I will be pulling that out when I need it. Um, I just wanted to collect my favorite turn lock styles and the patterns that I wanted. Um... So, yes. So moving on to the second row, I have my Penelope's Garden um, Turnlock Wallet. This is one of my favorite patterns. It's, it's probably my top three or top five favorite patterns um, at the factory outlets. And so I went hunting for this and I found it at an outlet store. I called online, or I'm sorry, I did a phone order and I placed this along with my Penelope's Garden Large Glenna. So I got this and the matching zip ID, which has got a hedgehog right there and I love that. I think I bought this from the online outlet sale. Um, hold on a second, Lychee is biting my toes. She's on the floor and she's biting my toes. Um, so I had to like, here, do you wanna sit up here? Okay. Please do not poop on any of my stuff. Okay, so uh, yeah, so I placed a phone order for these guys and I also have some more Penelope's Garden stuff down below. I found these as well, these little Kiss Lock coin pouches. I'm gonna stick those in here, but I just wanted to finish going over the zip ID and the turn lock wallet. If I open this, um, you do see this really pretty like sea green type of color, light mint color. Um, and I love this turn lock wallet. This has gotten one of the this is probably one of the most used that I, I've used, um, especially last year. Um, and I love that there's a hedgehog on the front right there. Love that. She's so cute. Um, I didn't get one on the back, but I love this pattern. Um, and then I have a little kiss lock coin pouch. And I've got a little hedgehog right there, too. I love that. I love the pattern placement of this. I love the mints and purples and then like the sketched out like whites. Um, and then I have Charmant Meadow Kiss Lock coin pouch as well. And I did get a little B right there. It's just a pretty pattern. So there are a couple of, these are the only, you know, Kiss Lock coin pouches from the factory outlets that I have. And I love them. And so I'm just going to stick this guy back in here. Hold it up. I don't really care. These are pretty heavy duty and cotton. Then in here, I've got my hanging around turn lock wallet. 
with this great sloth right at the front there. Got one that's hanging down there. And when you open it, it's this gorgeous teal color. It's like a nice dark teal. And show you the inside. It's got this great um, coordinating lining. And then I have my Lavender Meadow Turnlock Wallet. I love this pattern. This and Penelope's Garden were two patterns that actually grew on me. I want to do a video on patterns that grew on me um, eventually. Um, I just have to go through my collection again, sort through stuff, and remember which ones they were. Um, and this has this gorgeous gray interior. I really like the lighter or the, as long as it's not black, I really like the interior colors that they choose um, for their turn lock wallets. And I love the little ladybugs. And then in here, this is one of my favorite finds. Um, I love, and I haven't used this yet because I'm waiting to like pair it with my Bon Bon Medallion Small Vera tote, but I love Bon Bon Medallion. And I found this on a website that is actually part of a church. Um, and so it's like a store and they had one of these available. And so this also has this gorgeous dark gray interior color, which I love. And I love this. This is one of, you know, those things that like Bon Bon Medallion in certain items can be really hard to come across. Um, but I found one of these and then I found a Bordeaux Blooms turn lock wallet and I didn't pay that much for this. It's brand new. I think I got it for like $15 or $20 or something like that. And this just has a gorgeous like cranberry red interior and it's still brand new. I was going to whip this out for winter, but I ended up being in Spooky Cats for so darn long and um, loved that thing so much that I missed out on wearing some of my my winter pattern stuff. So, But I do love this. I'm keeping this in my collection um, until I get a chance to use it. And I don't know. I think this with the dragonflies might actually work for spring, but I'm not sure yet. These kind of like give the vibe of, you know, Christmas along with the green against the red background, but I'm still letting that marinate. Okay. So then in this last section here, we have Foxwood turn lock wallet which has this amazing fox right on the front and I think I bought this for ten dollars off of Mercari um, and it's still like brand new I mean it's got um, a little bit of stain like not staining but maybe like it just needs a little um, touch up but the quality and everything still looks brand new it was used for a short period of time by the seller and I could not I could not like pass this up because of that fox and because of the price I just I just had to have this so this one is one of those that does have a black interior, but I don't mind it because it's foxwood. Um, so I just, I mean, it goes together really well. And then I have my Rainforest Canopy. And this, when it first came out, I actually used this a whole bunch. I love that cockatoo that's over here. It's a blue cockatoo. And then I got... Um, I didn't get anything on the back, but oh, no, there is. It's upside down, but there's this orange cockatoo over here. And it's got this gorgeous interior color. I really like this. Um, it's a really pretty spring pattern. So that's everything on the second row. Hi, Lychee, you want to come down? No? There she is. She is hanging out on my Vera. She is going to town on my best in show zipper pull, which is fine. I'll let her play. She's, you know, she's happy with Vera. So, okay, moving down.
I found this Bon Bon Medallion double eye case on uh, Mercari. I think I paid like eight or nine dollars for this and it was like pretty new. I mean, it's almost brand new. Um, but I had to have this and I actually have my pair of eyeglasses in here, which I've been looking for. I couldn't find them. And so when I did my closet reorganization, I freaking found them. So there's that. Love this. And then I have my uh, Riley RFID compact wallets. And I have Mickey's Whimsical Balloons with this great castle on it. They're kind of hard to close. Yeah, there we go. And then I have my Cat's Meow RFID Riley compact wallet. I did use this a couple times, um, but I try not to use my cat's meow too, too much, like to where I'm ruining things. Um, I like to use them, but um, I don't know. I'm a little bit, because some of these were so, like, so hard to find and expensive. Not not everything that I bought was like up upsailed or anything like that. Some of these things I actually did find like at a retail store or like a, a smaller boutique store. Um, so I paid reg regular retail, but some of these things were, um, I did have to hunt and find. So here I have my other Carson cell phone crossbody in Hummingbird Park. Love the pattern placement on the back. I didn't get any hummingbirds on this except one right here in the interior, so I'm happy with that. Um, but this I ordered online from the, from Amazon, I think. And then I have my turn lock wallet in Hummingbird Park, which I love. Didn't get any hummingbirds on this, but the pattern is so beautiful that it's, you know, I, it's okay. Pattern is just so beautiful. Um, the interior is this gorgeous, um, silky satin. Um, it's like a, it's a bluish shade, but I can't, like a periwinkle blue maybe. Um, but I love that. And so this is coming out for spring. Then I have more of my cat's meow. I've got the Gen Zip ID, which I haven't used yet. Um, but I did find this on Mercari. I love the little teacup kitty and fishbowl kitty. Um, and here's the back there. Then I have my Carson cell phone crossbody in cat's meow. that I just stuck in here. And then I have my deluxe, I believe this is the all together. Let me just double check the tag. But this is a massive wallet. So the only reason I haven't used this yet is because, yeah, it's the iconic deluxe all together crossbody. And it's got several compartments. You've got this exterior compartment here. You could probably throw your cell phone in there. You've got this interior for like your wallet and stuff and change and you know, cash. Then you've got this checkbook section. Got this checkbook section with like extra card slots. And I just don't have enough stuff to put in this guy. <laughs> That's the only reason I haven't used this. I'm like, this would be fantastic for like couponers or like people that carry a lot of stuff in their wallets and need the extra space. But I'm like, eventually maybe I'll get to that point where I start collecting coupons and, you know, using this for that. But um, I just have this in storage. It's in my storage. I'm not using it at the moment. I'm just keeping it, holding on to it to the point where like, I feel like, okay, I am going to use this. Um, I wonder if I can use that as, I think it's a crossbody. I think there is a crossbody strap where I can just use this as a grab and go. It does have a crossbody strap where I can use this as a grab and go and put like other essential things in here. Maybe that would work. And then here's a little feather from lychee. So that's that, and I love that. In this section, I've got my coin purses and an extra wallet. So I've got my coin purses in French Paisley. Um, I can't even remember the name of this pattern, but I bought this from an online outlet sale for like $6, and then I do have um, happy blooms and this is the only thing in happy blooms that I actually own 
um, cause I wanted to test out the pattern before I committed to it. And I think I like happy blooms in a smaller item. So I do have these three little coin pouches and then I have my happy snails. Um, it's like a kiss lock wallet that I found. Um, and so it opens up like this, got the space in here. And then there's like a little section for like change or little things. So I've got these things in here. Then I have my Disney stuff. This is most of my Disney stuff in this pocket here. I've got my Pluto from the Disney Sensational 6 um, Paisley release. I had to get the little Pluto with the um, coordinating, I believe it's the Sensational 6 Ditsy interior. Then I have the regular Sensational 6 Ditsy um, zip ID, which I did, I did use this a couple times and it's got the little Disney tag in there. And then I have, this one is still new because I found this a couple months ago, but it is in Mickey's Floral Celebration. It's a zip ID. And actually Kelly from Potato Peach was raving about this pattern. And, um, I, have a tote in this um but i didn't have a zip id and so i was like well let me look into this and i actually do really really love this pattern um so once i use like my little set like my tote i will whip this out i just have to organize like if i don't organize myself when it comes to like my bags and things like that it, nothing will get used um so i do have to i do have to do a little bit of organization um and think about what i'm gonna pick like pull out for the day I have my Mickey's uh, whimsical balloon zip ID with this great Mickey on the front or in the on the inside and I have just a matching lanyard these Disney things are like my prized possessions and so I'm like <laughs> stay in storage <laughs> I'm scared to use you um, then the last two things that I have still in their packaging um, but they will get used, don't worry. Um, especially like spring, springtime. These are like gorgeous patterns for spring. Um, I have the Mickey Sweet Treats Ditsy Zip ID. This was the only thing besides a large Vera tote that I bought in that collection. Love this. And I'm a I love purple. So I got, let me see um, if you can see. Oh. I bought this online, guys, and I got this fantastic mini on the front. I'm so excited about that. Um, and there's a little Pluto. You can, uh, you might not be able to see it from this angle, but there is a little Pluto in there. Maybe. And then, so I'm just going to pull them out. I'm going to take them out of their packaging. Um, this was the only thing that I bought from the garden tea party collection. And I just have the matching um, lanyard in here. And that's just how I stored it. But I love this. I did actually buy the tote at one point and realized I didn't love the pattern enough. But I did really like the, um, the ditzy pattern. So I just decided to keep the zip ID um, and lanyard from that collection. Moving on to this section here, I have my Foxwood. Um, Gen Zip ID and I bought this from Occasionally Yours on the website. Um, they had a couple of these left and I snagged one. I wasn't worried about pattern placement because I, I just took a chance on it and I did end up getting a little chipmunk right there and I did get a chipmunk on the interior right there. So um, with smaller items it's harder to just be able to get something with a fox if you're blind ordering. Um, so I wasn't really too worried about that. And then I have my garden or my fruit grove zip ID, which I love. And I love that interior pattern. And I did use this a lot with like my small backpack and fruit grove last year. And then I have my sweethearts and flowers zip ID. This will be coming out for Valentine's Day. I'm just going to make an intention that I'm going to use that. I have my little um, Enchanted Garden coin pouch, which I'm gonna be using as a um, iPod case because I like the size of this for that. 
And then I've got my hanging around zip IDs, which I never actually got to use, but I do like them. And so eventually once I get through and I'll remove all the tags and everything and packaging from my stuff, um, you know, and be able to use them. So that's hanging around and um, yeah, hanging around. Both of these are, but this is the exterior, the main pattern. And then this is like an additional pattern that they did. And then I do have the lanyard. I don't use lanyards a lot. So I realized that I'm, st I actually stopped buying lanyards because I'm like, I have so many and you can like mix and match. Um, you don't have to use them. You know, they don't have to be like matching, um, but I don't need any more lanyards. So then in this section, I've got my home to Hogwarts zip ID, which is going to be coming out next week. I actually have an event that I'm going to. It's at the Quran Theater in San Francisco. And I will be taking my small Vera tote and my small backpack and home to Hogwarts. And I'm taking this guy. So I'm ex super excited about that. It's the um, Harry Potter and the Cursed Child in theaters. Um, and so I'm super excited about that. Then I have my Itsy Ditsy Zip ID. which I love this pattern. Um, I have a large tote in this that I'm gonna be pulling out for springtime. And so this will, this will get some use around that time. Then I have my Harry Potter bag charm. This was the home to Hogwarts bag charm, which I actually really, really like. Um, and this is gonna be a little accessory um, with my bag that I'm using next week. And then I've got a regular Look at that, how cute. A regular Zip ID in Foxwood. Okay, and so this last row, which I'll show, um, this actually I'm not gonna keep, but um, it's a Heather, like in this kind of like poofy material. Um, I'm not keeping this, so this is not part of that. Um, but in, I just wanted to show this last row here because I've just got a couple of things, but I did get this little Merry Mischief, um, little like, makeup bag and I just got extra lanyards in here look at how many lanyards I have it's ridiculous um, I don't need that many lanyards <laughs> so I've got that and I bought that from the online outlet sale and then I have two on a roll cases one in itsy ditsy and one in hummingbird park and then I just have an umbrella in here and some extra um, this is the Mickey's um, whimsical paisley umbrella that I just have in case California doesn't get a whole lot of rain so that's why this the guys in storage um, we had a we had some several days where we had rain in the winter time um, and we may get that in a uh, in a few days or so but I think the heavy rains have have passed and we don't get any rain in the summertime so um, and then this last section down here is just stuff I'm parting with. So I'm not going to go through any of those things. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I enjoyed filming that for you. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.